Welcome race fans to the last race in the eliminator round in the chase for the Sprint Cup. It's the penultimate race that will decide which four drivers will go to Homestead and race for a championship. But first, the chase contenders as well as the 35 other drivers must get ready for the duel that'll happen in the desert. It's the Can-Am 500 here at Phoenix International Raceway and you're watching NASCAR on McLam Racing. And the pace car will make the left turn down pit road here at Phoenix International Raceway. Field in the hand of Kurt Busch and Dale Earnhardt Jr. as we come to the line two by two. It is now time to settle the eliminator round of the chase for the Sprint Cup. Green flag is in the air. Three wide off turn two. Kurt Busch and Dale Earnhardt Jr. still side by side going down into turn three. Advantage to the outside lane. Here comes Kyle Busch making a move. Over we're four wide off of four that time. Advantage to Earnhardt Jr. as we're going to try to make it three wide going in into one. Can't quite get there. Ooh, little bump from Casey Kane. Work our way to the inside of Blaney. Right's clear. Bar approaching high. Slight contact with Dave Bar Blaney. Up top, two back. Or sorry, Ryan Blaney. Clear up high. Matt Kenseth moves us up out of the groove just slightly. Like we said today, nice and We're gonna be Stay on low. his outside. Trying to get to the inside of Dale Hart Jr. Two Little outside. contact there. Kurt Bush is in the race lead. Followed closely Clear by Jimmy high. Johnson, who's running right in his tire tracks. Okay. Matt Thank Kenseth you. looking to try to get around us back. as we're running third. But here comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. Kenseth makes the outside lane work. Jr. tries to follow him through. Can't quite get there. We get the runoff of turn four. Car outside. At your door. Might be able to clear Car him going outside. into one. No, Kenseth again Car making outside. that high line work. Almost Car got around car. Kevin, uh, Jimmy Johnson that time. Decides to fall back as we go side by side with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Ooh, slight contact as Kevin Harvick gave us a little bit of a bump. So we gave a little bump going to Matt Kenseth that shot us up the racetrack. Moved us a little bit out of our groove. We're going to get the run on the high side though. Falling back to fourth, Kurt Busch still leading the way. Kevin Harvick. Looking to lock himself into the next round. Ooh, little bump from Kevin Harvick there that made us shoot up the track just a little bit. Closing on the bottom. The leader's a second ahead. And now we're stuck on the outside lane. Car underneath. Stalin Hart Jr. and teammate Jeff Gordon get around us. We're gonna try to stay tight to Gordon. Can't quite do it though. Car inside at your door. Casey Kane gets by us. Another Hendrick Motorsports teammate. All four Hendrick Motorsports right you. teammates running in the top the ten. Clear left. And if you want to count okay, it, the Hendrick engine is Go leading the you. race. One back, coming It'll right. tap to Casey Kane. Right clear. Looking to his inside. Nice and easy. Just keep doing We're going to get around doing. him for the sixth spot. Now going to try to work on Dale Earnhardt, uh, sorry, Jeff Gordon. Ryan Blaney trying to make that outside lane work, can't quite do it. He gets freight train. Here comes Casey Kane battling back on the inside. Try to stay tight to his door. The outside lane is the preferred lane though. Oh, as he makes a big move inside of his teammate, Jeff Gordon. Kevin Harvick's going to follow him through. We really have nowhere to go. We got a bump from Ryan Blaney that moved us up way into the high side of the racetrack. We try to gather it back up, and we do. Looking to the outside of Greg Biffle. Tony Stewart now to our inside. We get we do clear Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart also looking to lock himself into the championship four. 
We got a little loose going into three that time. Had to get down on the apron, let out the let off the throttle. Allowed quite a few cars to get past us. We've fallen back to 14th. We're trying to work our way around David Reagan. Trying to get our way back into the top 10s, working our way around Austin Dillon. Watch your inside. In the number three Cheerios car. Watch your rear. And that means that Ty Dillon was going to be running that same paint scheme. Which does tend to get annoying and a little confusing at times. Watch your mirror, he's coming up fast. Looking high. Ty Dillon makes that outside lane work. We're a little snug in the center of the back. corner. And that's kind of allowing these guys on the high line Go to get a run on us. Ooh, little Come bump on. from Brian Vickers. Right Brian clear. Vickers tried to move us out of the way. Right Real right aggressive. Right clear, now bud. we're stuck on the outside lane again. Kyle Busch to our inside. Ooh, Kyle Busch popped the inside wall just a little bit. Still down low. Kyle Busch and Danny Hamlin go right Come on by clear. us. Joey Logano behind us. Probably can imagine we're not too happy with the 55 about that move, but we do manage to gather it back up and continue on. Kurt Busch is still leading, dominating this race so far. Most likely followed closely by Dale Earnhardt Jr. So we're trying to get a run on Hamlin here. We do get there. Two back, coming low. So we just clear. we push up in the center of the turn that allows the guys behind us to get a run. Looking outside. We're trying right to get around clear. Denny Hamlin here. Yeah, see we just push up in the center of the turn. And we just can't and get the momentum that we that we need. We got a bump from Joey Logano, <laughs> and now that put us into Danny Hamlin. Logano and Truex go by. Just a little casual contact, casual bump and run action going on here at Phoenix. Jimmy Johnson has now inherited the race lead. I said D was followed by Dale Earnhardt Jr. before. That's my fault. He's followed by Jimmy Johnson. So Jimmy Johnson has now inherited the race lead from Kurt Busch. It sounds like cars are starting to come down pit road already. We're battling side by side with Denny Hamlin. Battling for the 20th spot. Do get around him. He's charging. No, but we just push up right in the center of the turn. Like that's that's just one of our problems. We have to try to fix that during the pit stop. Probably a slight track bar adjustment. Okay, let's go find your next victim. Danny Hamlin still there on the inside of us. Got one work in the Racing side by side, coming off of two. Little slight contact. Yet. Seven seconds ahead to the lead car. Trying to. Get the run on the high side, trying to make that Already. high line work. But the inside line is the place to be. We're just too far outside the group. Pop the wall just a little bit. No damage go. done. Three, We're fine. Zero. Do you manage to pull a crossover Far move outside. on Denny Hamlin? Clear right side. Now I'm going to try to catch up to David Reagan as we clear Hamlin for the go 20th go. spot and clear Reagan. Right very easily for the 19th spot spot he must have had some trouble coming off of that dog leg on the back stretch so Kurt Busch has been leading he's led every lap so far I believe I don't think Junior ever led a lap I believe that Kurt Busch has led every lap of this race so far Clear high. he's working out of way around the lap car of Jeb Burton. Matt Kenseth currently holding the fastest lap of the race. That's it, little by little. You gained a tenth on the guy in front. Gaining a little bit on Martin Truex Jr., but not much. First is in front by eight seconds. 
Eight, second, eight seconds behind, not too bad. Our average finish here is about 17th, I believe. I want to say our average finish here is 17th. Because we did really bad. I remember the first time we ever ran here, we did really bad. <laughs> and then, from then on, we've been okay. We've been fairly decent here in terms of finishing, Once, the, especially once the field gets spread out. It just seems like the car, once the tires start to heat up, our car handles a lot better. And we just don't have the fall off that the rest of the field does. As we've pulled into just over a second over Martin Truex Jr. Phoenix is one of those tracks like it's deceptively patient. <laughs> when you think you can get back in the throttle, don't. <laughs> because you that outside wall can creep up on you really quick. You, this is a wide track, but you should be surprised how quickly that outside wall can creep right up on you. And it's a lot of it is because it's uh, well, right. it's a flat track, so there's not a lot of banking to really keep you, your car down. So we uh, gave a little bump to Josh Wise, right. but that was mainly because we're just we're trying to go now. Oh. So we're trying to work our way around Martin Truex Jr. Looks like we will get there to his inside. Truex trying to battle back on the outside. Can't quite do it. Like I said, the tire fall off is going to start playing a factor now. All clear. And as I said, like once our tires get warm, we're pretty good, especially after the field gets spread out. We can start picking these guys off one by one. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is now the race leader. It looks like Kurt Busch came Kurt down pit road. No, he's still there. That just means Kurt Busch is in second now. Not sure where Jimmy Johnson is. I don't know if Jimmy Johnson came down pit road or not. But Junior was out front just for a little bit. So we're trying to catch up to Austin Dillon now. We're making up some time, slowly but surely. About five tenths back from him. We're gonna close in just a little bit here. Just over three tenths. Just over two tenths now, but now JJ Yaley. Now Yaley started up front, I believe. Yaley was up in the top ten, if I if I remember correctly. And he's fallen back to 38th. He's already one lap down. So we're going to have to contend with some lap traffic here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Yaley was up there with us. Unless that was Kyle Larson I was looking at before. But I think that was J.J. Yaley. There's a nine second gap to the leader. Okay, so we're working our way around okay, Yaley. Should up, not be a problem. Nope, J Yaley Keep is... Pushing. Keep pushing. That car has fallen us down. Yeah, he's racing us. We're not too happy about that, but... We're going to work our way to the inside of Michael Waltrip as well. We took a peek to the inside of, Ty of Austin Dillon. But there just wasn't enough room to go down in there, so had to back out of it. Getting around Bobby Labonte now. Labonte dive bombs it on the high side. Can't make it stick though. Come on, man. Let's pass that car. All right, we're gonna go three wide. Coming off the dog leg. Ooh, little tap to Brian Vickers. Don't know. We're not happy about what happened earlier, but he maintains his his speed. We give him another shot. Brian Vickers. Oh, he's running us really low. And we pop the inside wall because of that. Could have backed out of that, probably should have backed out of that. But Fight's all clear, bud. he did run us kinda low there. He was trying to I'm not sure if he was trying to pass someone or just trying to put a block on, but he ran us really low. 
We're trying to work our way around Logano now. Vickers being held up by Ryan Blaney. There's a little bit of contact up ahead there. I don't know if we'll be able to catch Blaney. Because <laughs> uh, you can imagine we're not too happy with him. I'm sorry, not Blaney, uh, Vickers. We're slowly but, slowly but surely catching up, but... As long as he and Ryan Blaney are running that train, then it's going to be harder for us to catch him. Okay, now they've broken it up a little bit. Car front's heading to the pit. And they're now Leaders coming down pit road. Pit. Looking really good, buddy. Blaney works his way around Michael Annette. Michael Annette's a lapped car. Matt Kenza still holding the fastest lap of the race thus far. Kurt Busch is side. leading all of the laps so far. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's led every lap. So I wouldn't be surprised if he wins this race. Right side. Nice. Top ten. Okay, let's hustle. And now Matt Kenseth is out front. That means that Kurt Busch has come down pit road as well as Jimmy Johnson. We've worked our way into the top ten. We're going to catch up to Greg Biffle. He's working his way around Danica Patrick. We're going to follow him through. Right. Danica Patrick started 14th, I believe. Right side's clear. We're going to work like our way around Greg Biffle. Way to go, buddy. You're doing it today. Side by side and turns one and two. We clear All him right. coming off of two. Yeah, Danica Patrick, I believe, started 14th, and he's, she's already fallen back to 29th, but she might have already pitted. That may be the thing. That may be the kicker there. She may have already pitted. Because except for, except for Tony Stewart, Stewart Haas all started in the top 15. You know, you had Kurt Busch up there on the pole. And then... Uh, Tony Stewart, I think, was like 25th. I remember Danica Patrick was... Uh, Danica Patrick was 14th, and I believe Kevin Harvick was 7th, if I remember correctly. i adjust the brake bias just a little bit there. That left front is really, really worn now. Or really, really hot, anyway. It's not as hot as it was. I'm taking it a little bit easier into the turns. But our right front is definitely warm. Down low. Outside. And now it's time for us to come down pit road. There's We're five. following Kyle Busch. Kevin Harvick currently takes over the race lead, but he has to come down pit Looks road like shortly. And we're going to take four tires fuel. We're going to adjust the track though. bar slightly okay, just to get us a little up. more turn through the center. And hopefully that'll combat that type center thing and we can get a better turn and... Get some better runs coming off the turn. Not that we had bad runs coming off the turn, but it's kind of hard to get those when someone can just get, get ready, in to ready. your inside. Give me a best stop here, guys. And that changes the whole. That changes how you uh, come off the exit of the turn. When someone's there on your inside or someone's on your outside, that changes how you come off the inside. So. Fairly good pit stop. Doesn't look like there were any issues. We're one lap down, one lap down right currently. Like but that's because okay, Kevin Harvick has not come down pit road yet. There's Yaley on our outside. Ryan Newman's going to go around line. us. It's going to take us a little bit. It's going to take us a couple of laps to get the tires warmed up. But we should be, to go. Should be running better as so we got eight we have eight laps to go Clear right. yeah we got a better run off the turn that time around Clear on the we outside. got a lot of speed going into turn three and four this time here comes Ryan Newman Ryan Newman takes a peek to the inside but we have the momentum coming off of turn four Kevin Harvick still a race leader
Trying to be patient, hoping for a good top 10 finish here. I don't think we'll ever get back up into the top five. That's a full second you made up on the driver. But it's possible. Go, it's possible. I wouldn't rule it out just yet, but it's possible. Just over a second behind Jeff go. Gordon. We have the fresher tires, so we should catch up to Jeff Gordon. Go down in the turns three and four, closing the gap under a half second right now. On, buddy, there we go. Worked our way around Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon's going to battle back on the outside. Our outside yeah. He's really got there, nothing bud. for us because we've got those fresh tires. Clear up top. A little bit of a benefit for waiting until like the last minutes of pit, kind of. So we got to wonder if that pit road glitch is going to come into effect because Kevin Harvick is now up front Before now. If he wins... He, he's going to Homestead if he wins, so... And Kevin Harvick is not... He's currently below the cutoff line. I believe he's seventh, and Tony Stewart is eighth. So if Kevin Harvick wins, this will be big for him. And it wouldn't be too much too surprising, because this is Kevin Harvick's Car track. Inside, just looking. I believe he won the last Go time we were time. here. So if he can repeat that... Inside, It'll be really good corner. for him. Oh, but Jimmy Johnson is now in the race lead. Watch your rear. Jimmy Johnson has, has overtaken Kevin Harvick. Car three back. So I believe Harvick has now fallen back to seventh. So his fall off is really is, is very significant Ready right now. Three laps to go. It's possible Harvick did pit. Maybe Harvick did pit. It's not a pit road glitch. But Harvick is off the pace. Bunch of mirror, he's coming up fast. Danica Patrick is in the 30, the leader, 31st spot right, right now. Falling back to 32nd as Bobby Labonte gets around her. Car outside, at your door. There's Cole Witt. We were three wide there for a second. Didn't really notice the spotter didn't say anything. Alright, here we come. Car up top, one back. White flag for Jimmy Johnson, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Right side's clear. We're gonna try to work on Kamat Kenseth a little bit here, see if we can Car try to get around him, but we're getting a little bit of pressure from behind. Car. Even though these guys aren't really on the lead lap. All right, we work our way around Matt Kenseth. Oh, but we slightly overdrove that. We're gonna give up the bottom just a little bit. Matt Kenseth has to run on the outside. Jimmy Johnson is the race winner, and we're gonna come home eighth. All right, good job all around, guys. Good job all around. Now that was really impressive stuff out there today. Top 10 is really good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good job, guys. Good job. I'll see you at Homestead. All right, guys. So here are the race results. Jimmy Johnson is your race winner. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Hendrick teammate, comes in second. Third is Kurt Busch. Fourth is Casey Kane. Fifth is Clint Boyer. Good finish for him. He is a chaser. Sixth is Kevin Harvick. Seventh is Matt Kenseth. We come in eighth. Ninth is Jeff Gordon. And rounding out the top ten is Carl Edwards. Excuse me. And here are the rest of the drivers where you could, uh, rest of the field where you could pick out your favorite driver. Um, not a good showing for the most of the chasers. Ooh, Denny Hamlin, not good for him. Not good for Brad Kozlowski. Not a good showing for a lot of these guys, but we'll just have to see how the points will shake up after all of this is over. And it looks like in 43rd last place is Michael McDowell. How many cars finished on the lead lap? Looks like about... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, 23 cars finish on the lead lap. I'm not sure how 
common that is for Phoenix. I would especially I would think um, that would be in the teens in real life, but you know, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. And here are the point standings, guys. Your final four. We are in the points lead currently, but uh, it, we're technically tied with everyone else. <laughs> Clint Boyer has advanced. Martin Truex Jr. has advanced. And Brad Keselowski has advanced. These are your final four. Your championship round contenders going to Homestead. We have no number for some reason, but that <laughs> that is just the case. Dale Earnhardt Jr. with, like I said, strong second half of the season. He has been right on the t right on our heels, but unfortunately did not. He got eliminated in the first round. I hate it for it because this would have been a good this would have been a good battle. This would have been a good battle. Eliminated Tony Stewart, Kurt Busch, Denny Hamlin. I'm sorry. Eliminated are Tony Stewart, uh, Denny Hamlin. Who else? Kevin Harvick and... Oh, is that it? Was Kurt Busch actually in? No. What? Kyle Busch. Didn't Kyle Busch win a race? Didn't he win? Am I remembering that incorrectly? Did Kyle Busch not win? <laughs> or did Kurt Busch win? Am I just going a absolutely insane? I thought Kyle Busch won the, uh, the Martinsville race. But maybe Kurt Busch won. And I was just remembering that insanely incorrect. I was sick that, during that time, so it's possible. <laughs> um, but yeah, all right. So, like I said, here are our final four. We are us, Clint Boyer, Martin Trex Jr., and Brad Keselowski. We are, will settle this in Homestead. So overall, guys, good race. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. I wasn't expecting to have that much fun at Phoenix, but I was having a lot of fun. I mean, there was... I was racing my way in. <laughs> I was like, I knew I was already locked in, but I felt like I should probably try and race my and see if I could get it get up there, and to be able to race my way in. And as it stood, I probably could have, um, with the good finish at Texas and a good finish at. Um, if I didn't win at Texas, I think I could have raced my way in, and got in the uh, into the final four. I think I could have done it. So, but yeah, that was man. Phoenix is. I know a lot of people don't like Phoenix in this game, and it might be a setup thing. Um, I had to battle like tightness throughout, and I know the car it naturally in this game is it runs tight on the tight side. There's very few tracks that I've seen that it runs on the loose side, but mostly it runs tight. Um, so tracks like Martinsville, Phoenix, um, really any type of short track, it's just it or flat track. Short flat tracks, or even Pocono. Pocono is just, well, the field is just OP in Pocono, but yeah, it's just, um, I had a lot of fun. I really, I, I technically, if I'm being honest, I actually really enjoy racing at Phoenix in this game. It, it's, it's stressful, but in a good way. It's actually like, you know, people are challenging you, people are racing side by side, you can race side by side. Um, had a few incidents there, but I felt like we uh, we gathered it back up and got back to where we should have been running. Um, we didn't have a winning car. I knew that from practice and from um, from qualifying. Um, we just we just didn't have the uh, the speed, um, the handling. We have a long run car, as I've seen. Like once the tires start to really heat up. <laughs> I felt like the car handles better, but um, yeah, we have we definitely have a long run car. On cold tires, we just we just don't have it. We're, it felt like we're just spinning our tires more so than actually going anywhere. So, but yeah, it was a, it was a good race. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I surely, surely enjoyed that. Um, and which is, I mean, it says a lot. I know, I know Phoenix, like I said, I, I don't, I know Phoenix is a, usually a point of contention in this game with a lot of people, but I think with the right setup, you can have a lot of fun here, and that's basically what I did. I had a lot of fun here. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in to McBlam Racing on McBlam Entertainment, where we try to bring a little enjoyment to your day every day. If you enjoyed these races, I do them every weekend following the NASCAR season, which we only have two more races. This was the penultimate race, and Next week's the last one, guys. We're going to Homestead. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you at Homestead.